We're joined from Tehran by our NBC News bureau chief there, Ali Aruzi. And Ali, because it's important to the story, I'm going to begin with the backdrop behind you. What are we seeing? That's right, Brian. The picture behind me is a photograph of the city of Iran. We're inside our bureau in Tehran because the authorities here have asked us not to film on the streets, and we're respecting those regulations and laws that have been set over the last few days. As a dual citizen of Great Britain and Iran, you are able to walk the streets at a, as a citizen, but because you're a journalist, while you walk the streets, you can't photograph it and, of course, export those pictures. Can you describe for us what the streets have looked like to you today? Well, we went out into the streets earlier on today, Brian, in south-central Tehran, where a group of pro-Ahmadinejad supporters and militia had gathered at about 3 o'clock local this afternoon. But they were very shortly outnumbered by, by the reformist uh, supporters, Mir Hussein Musavi, who started out in a few hundred uh, supporters. There was a little bit of clashes with the Ahmadinejad supporters. But then their numbers within hours swelled from 100 to 100,000. If you were able to go to a window right now, Ali, and report on what you could hear to show us live pictures, though we can't, uh, is, is the city a noisy place even during the middle of the night? Would a visitor there know that you're in the middle of a kind of unrest? Absolutely, Brian. There's a lot of cars honking their horns, people shouting in the streets. I have to mention that the procession itself was very muted because all of the people in the reformist procession were telling one another, don't shout derogatory slogans against Ahmadinejad so as not to incite any violence from the security forces. So they were all walking around, waving their hands in the air, waving V signs, but they weren't shouting anything derogatory. There were some scuffles, there was, there was a little violence, but by and large it was a fairly peaceful rally yesterday, not like the scenes we saw yesterday. Our bureau chief in Tehran, Ali Aruzi, reporting uh, under the restrictions imposed on journalists there. Ali, thank you for your reporting tonight.